In this video, we're going to show how you can use Enterprise PDM Tasks in combination with the web portal to present information and share information with suppliers and people that uh, need to access data outside your company. Now we have two SOLIDWORKS assemblies that we're going to publish to a vendor. That vendor name is on one of the assemblies, but it's not on the other, so we're going to set that first. Save the data card. That stores a property that is mapped to the SOLIDWORKS file. And what we're going to do is right-click on these and submit or publish these to the supplier portal. What this does is this triggers a, a job using Enterprise PDM tasks to convert these two assemblies to e-drawings and uh, push them into the supplier area of our Enterprise PDM vault. What this will do is it'll launch SOLIDWORKS uh, behind the scenes. It could do that uh, on the server. In this case, it's going to do it on our client. And it, it can convert these into a number of different formats, including e-drawings, PDFs, XMLs, JPEGs, a number of different outputs that are native to SOLIDWORKS. Now, instead of triggering these on a right-click, we could obviously connect these to a workflow so that as um, these drawings, these assemblies were approved by purchasing or by somebody else uh, that's along the life cycle of the assembly, it would actually publish these out as well. Now, as you can see here, there's two eDrawings files. It actually copies the, the data card information from the native file. Uh, and it can actually link it as well to the SOLIDWORKS native assembly. In this case, we're dumping them into the supplier portal area, and it reads the value from the data card and puts it into the appropriate folder, folder area of the vault for the high range motors uh, vendor. Now, the key contact at high range motors would get an email. They would know to come in here and log in as supplier, and obviously, they could have their own unique username and password that took them into just the area of the vault that they're allowed to see. And they would just see the file that are published to them. And because we can work this off a workflow trigger, it would automatically update the files in here with the ones that are the latest, so that they're always looking at the latest version. They can open them up in eDrawings. If it's PDFs or other things that are published in there, you could just open those up in uh, the native. And then if you want to um, add a Word document or a PDF or something back to the vault, let's say in this case uh, they're quoting for these two jobs, they could go ahead and do that. It would pull a new part number. It could, it could force them to enter in certain uh, pieces of information that are required on the check-in. And in fact, they could even add SOLIDWORKS assemblies and things like that in through this interface as well. Now here they can check it in, and it goes ahead and adds it to the vault. Now if they had a whole hierarchy of folders, they could search through here as well for files that they had access to see. And once they were able to find them, they could look at the properties or change the state to submit for approval and things like that right from the web interface. Uh, now that the vendor has added the file, the next stage is you know getting that file as a user. So, you know, back in internal to the company, you're going to log in as uh, your username and go get the quote that was submitted. So, I'm just going to browse right back into the vault, and as you might suspect, it's going to be into the, in the folder in the supplier portal area where they submitted that project specification doc. Um, now, if I was busy and I didn't have time to go in there and look for it all the time, I could actually set notifications on the folders um, to actually email me when a uh, file was ready. And so I could say, when any file is checked in or modified, send me an email. I could set it up so that any file I changed sent them an email as well. And that concludes my presentation of Enterprise PDM Web Portal.